In this demonstration of ArtCam Express, we're going to see how we can create a very basic 3D plaque using some of the tools within ArtCam Express. I'm going to start with ArtCam Express open. I'm going to create a new model. Here we have our setup job dimensions. We're going to have a width of 100 millimeters, a height of 100 millimeters, and a thickness of six. I'm going to be working in millimeters for this demonstration, and we're going to leave all of the settings as they are for now. So everything's at the top of the block. And here we have our 2D view. Now, ArtCam Express has a very powerful 3D import functionality. We provide you from our ClipArt library with about 500 models for you to use and import into any of your designs. You're also able to machine these. Now I'm going to select this lady. So it's the scan of a head. If I switch across to the 3D view so we can see this, here we have our lady's head. And I will scale this down to two millimeters in height. And I will just place her in the center of the screen. I'm going to paste her into place. Now here's our material block and the lady's head is sitting on top of it. Now typically what we'd want is this to be somewhere in this area of our material block. We're going to do this by creating a dome or we're going to be using a pre-created dome for the lady's head to go in. So we're going to load in a dome that we've pre-created within ArtCam Pro. Now this dome is available, it's in the showcase section of the forum. So you can just use this and scale this around however you like. So I've just we've scaled it into position. So it just creates a recessed dish for the lady's head to fit into. So it's not above this surface. I'm gonna scale this to about 2.9 in the Z. If I paste this into place, you can see from the side, the lady's head is going over the top. So we're just going to change this to about 3.1 and then paste this into place. So we're creating a recessed dome for the lady's head. And now we're gonna machine this and machine some nice decoration around the edge to leave us with our plaque. We're going to come across to our 2D view and we're going to select this oval vector. We're going to select our offset vector and we're going to select 2 millimeters. We're going to offset this outwards first of all by 2 millimeters and then we're going to do it by 3 millimeters. So it's only a very small design. And these will now be our machining vectors. So we can see the plaque. We're going to come across to our toolpaths tab. And we're going to use the profiling toolpath. We're going to use one of the fancy tools, such as an OG tool. You can quite easily or happily use one of these tools to get a nice effect. But I'm going to use something called a veining tool. And we'll see the effect I get from using a veining tool. If I just calculate this now. But I have to select my vector first and just calculate this. I can now simulate this by using this icon down here and you'll be able to see the effect I get from using that tool. So you can see it's gone into the center and it's radius around the edge of our plaque. I'm going to select this outer vector that we created, use the profiling toolpath again. I'm going to use a six mil end mill tool. I'm just going to calculate this. Then I'll simulate this as well. So I'm just giving myself a bit of a straight edge around this. We're now going to simulate the lady's head. So we've used 2D toolpaths for now. We're now going to use a 3D toolpath, a machine relief toolpath. And we're going to use this vector right here. Use selected vector. We're going to select a very small ball nose tool for now but you could start off with a bigger ball nose tool and then work down to a much smaller tool 
and I'll calculate this and simulated this up and we're going to use the simulation shading and select one of our materials to create our finished design. So you've seen how quickly in this demonstration you can create a finished 3D design. It's a very small piece, so small tools is adequate for this. And we could use our depth color shading to turn on to preview it in different colors or different materials if we wanted to. So working within different shading sets. So you can see Arcam Express is a very powerful tool for creating and manipulating 3D models.